Hi friends, my name is Sandeep Patil and uh, I am here to show you how to read the startup configuration in Nexus 9K switches or you can say you can use it in all the Nexus devices. Where it is exactly used? When you configure the new switches which you are already used, so we need to do the best configuration on the Nexus switches. At that time we don't require the earlier configuration, at that time how we can delete that old configuration or how to take the backup of those configurations we will see in this video. So first login into the, we have mentioned few steps here. So first step is login into the switch with the existing username and password take the backup of existing configuration is required. So I will show you how I have one switch here. So I have connected with the console cable. So you can you access this switch with the management also. You, you don't need to be do uh, connect the console cable also. If you have the management, this is well and very good. So let's see the, how to take the backup of existing configuration. So just right click on the down bar, then setting, login, or in so that all section input, browse the backup and go to desktop or you can say any any here. That is config backup. Let's save. And then apply. So, well, all configuration will be, I am going to be backup here. Okay, now I stop my backup. Now I have completed my backup. Okay, on, see you, you can see now the backup is ready. Okay, so now I am ready to erase my startup configuration. So, how to erase that configuration? So is the, here is the command, very simple command is here, just to enter write, write erase command, no need to go into the config mode, you can enter this command in hash mode. Let's we enter this command, write erase, but make sure that you have already taken the backup of the switch configuration, which can be required for future also, okay, write erase, it will ask to, yes, do you wish to proceed, yes, we will proceed. So now the config is no startup configuration you will find. Show startup. No startup configuration. So what is the next step? Now need to reload the switch. Because reload, why reload is required? Because after booting that it will reach the startup configuration. Okay? So what is the process to reload the command? Uh, reload the switch, just enter reload. Okay? Press enter. It will ask this command will reload, reboot the system. Yes, do you want to continue? Yeah. Here is the command. So my switch is going to be reloaded. It will take much time, so I am bypass this uh, process. So here we are. It is asking to approve the auto provisioning and continue with the normal setup. Now we are in a fresh new switch, sir. So I I am I would like to approve the auto provision. I would like to do the configuration myself only. So I put here yes. So the e will, uh, auto provisioning will not happen and it will uh, give me a chance to configure the switch. Yeah, it will be the, all the configuration is being erased, uh, it's all username and password is giving me the chance to uh, uh, set the new password for the admin. So just I say. So I enter the password. Do you like to edit the basic configuration? No. So the login with the add password will be. Yeah. Hey, you are here. We have doing new switch. See the configuration. It's here. All over here. Do you observe here? One management VRF IP is doesn't uh, get serious. So. If you access via management console, uh, management access, your access will not get uh, disconnected. You will continue to be accessed. So this is a really great use. And you can change your uh, management IP and management VRF after logging into the new switch. So you can set your new sessions like uh, hostname. So let's say this is in India. The uh, hostname is India. New configuration will be interface. Yeah, interface. Sorry, management zero, IP address ten dot zero dot zero dot one. Mask. You can set mask like this only. 
anyway yeah this now your ip change so i need to do prf management so you are, like that you can make changes okay so this is the small process of to, how to erase the startup configuration of nexus switches so uh, now our switch is ready for fresh configuration thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe thank you bye